Hello and welcome to Climbing Daily. Today we've got another one of our Pile d'Or interviews, this time with Chantal Astorga and Anne Gilbert Chase. They put up a new route on the mountain Nilkantha, which is 6,500 meters tall and is in India. So tell me about this route, new line. Uh, tell me about the mountain and about the route itself a little bit. Um, so in 2015, my husband Jason Thompson and I went to uh, Mount Nilkantha to attempt it along with Caro North and um, we were acclimatizing on the West Ridge and we didn't make it to the summit. We got stormed off by a big electrical storm but um, we got really good look at the south face and what we wanted to climb and so at that point we kind of knew we wanted to go back and we just decided to take a year off and sort of reflect and take some time and so then this past year we we went and we invited Chantel along and um, so the three of us went and we were successful. Yeah. And route itself, you've got a little bit of objective danger coming into it and it's quite tricky and then and then the route itself, the meat of the route, tell me a bit about that. Yeah, so the approach to the advanced base camp is um, sort of, you have a lot of Serac danger from the lower sort of like um, east part of the face and that's how you access the West Ridge, the Southwest Face. So a lot of parties have um, been up there and a lot of parties have talked about it. And so reading through the history of the mountain, you're, you kind of know what you're getting into. And the first year that we were up there, we actually, um, Caro, Jason, and I started a little too late to go to Advanced Base Camp and the Serac unleashed above us and we were hiding behind rocks to try to you know, navigate it. So we realized that, yeah, this thing's pretty active. And so we came back way earlier in the middle of the night and did it. So going in this past year, we already knew that. Um, and so we set ourselves up a lot better this time to go for it. But it's terrain that's like, it's not technically challenging. You know, it's fourth class and just a long walk, but it's like loose boulders and things that you can't move really quickly in. So you're sort of, in the in the firing zone for longer than you'd like to be but um, after that you get up to the base of the face and um, you're, you know you're set for the climb. I should just say there is sort of a party going on yeah. <laughs> over there so if there's lots of noisy we are in the middle of the filet doors there's, there's everyone playing around we'll, we'll press on so higher up on the route do the difficulties continue or does it ease off at any point? Yeah um, I would say that throughout the route there's uh, periods where you can simul climb together um, however it is quite technical uh, throughout the majority of the route we kind of thought that it would taper off towards the summit and um, it turns out that it just got more and more difficult and uh, the rock quality sort of deteriorated up there. Um, and so, you know, we had that challenge to deal with. But then maybe the last, like, what, two, 200 meters or so, we're, we're just snow walking on the ridge. But yeah, for the most part, it was, it was a very technical climb. And time on the face itself, how long did you spend getting up it and getting off it all in all? Um, five days. Yeah, total round yeah. trip. Yeah. We thought we'd summit on day three. Um, <laughs> you run out of food. No? Yeah, a little bit. I mean, it was scarce towards yeah, the end, yeah. but uh, we were okay. Yeah. I don't think I've ever met anyone who's finished any one of these routes like yes. full. You know what I mean? Yeah. Just like, we had lots of food. It was we, all or good. Or you have like the one thing that you're just like, I can't eat that anymore. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We had plenty of fuel, which is... Well, there you go. Lots of water then. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I read about the Slovak Direct and obviously about this, and there's, there's been a lot made of you guys being a like all-female team. Uh, is that a factor in your heads and is it something that you're getting bored of talking about because you guys are just climbers you just want to get on with the climbing? Yeah, that's that a lot. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, I think Chantel and I have, you know, talked about this both together and separately. Like, for us, we climb with who we want to climb with, you know. I mean, I climb with my husband a lot. We both have climbed with him and, and I think that while, you know, to have a female partner is awesome and I'm psyched for it, it's not like... I don't only look at that and I think, you know, for, yeah, you're, we're lucky that we have like been able to climb together and have these successes, but I don't think either one of us are limited to only wanting to climb with each other or females and um, so yeah, I think it's, it's just, just want to go and, climbing, right? Go climb, yeah, yeah, no, I, I fully agree with you. <laughs> and I think on that note too, with the Slovak, I mean, it's, it wasn't about a female ascent, it was just really about like, are we capable of doing this and we looked up to a lot of the people who have climbed it in the past is, you know, like inspirations and stuff. And so um, really it was just cool that we, you know, we got on the route last year, we climbed a thousand meters and then uh, a storm moved in and we had to retreat. And uh, when we did that, we knew that we were definitely capable of uh, pulling that route off. And so 
The Slovak Direct has this reputation, it's got like this fearsome, almost mythical reputation. Um, just talk a little bit about that route, um, because it is, it is a special one in the sort of realms of mountaineering history and lore. Yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a big mountain. Denali is very high and it's so far north that, you know, the, uh, the altitude is strong up there. And, and then Denali also gets wicked weather and it's cold and, you know, so I think just from the mountain, it's like you got a lot of elements to deal with. And then, yeah, the south face is proper. It's a big face and, and uh, it's proper. on you from the, <laughs> from the start to the finish. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I think just from those elements, it's, it's a big undertaking. And then, yeah, looking at the people that have climbed it before us and they're some of the best alpinists in the world. And um, so I think it's, it's pretty cool to, to be listed among, among those alpinists. And, um, yeah. yeah, it's awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Cool. It was yeah. a difficult route, it was cool. <laughs> yeah, it looks difficult. Sure. Cool. Well, uh, guys, lovely to meet you. Congratulations on everything and best luck in the future with what you do. Thank yeah. you. Thank you.